Um, thank you very much, Kahiri. Minister, as you know, our post office network is a huge asset for our country, both for our communities in urban and rural settings. Thankfully, over the past number of years, there has been an extension of some of the services that our post office network can provide, with good services being provided for Bank of Ireland and also for added Irish banks. I know that it has been suggested in the past that um, government should give consideration and detailed consideration to the provision of governments, other government services through the post office network. And you, you might let me know, Minister, if there are any such proposals under consideration at present. Thank you, Akhar Heerlich. Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy. Ampost is a commercial state body with a mandate to act commercially. Ampost has statutory responsibility for the state's postal service and the post office network. The Government is committed to a sustainable future for Ampost and the post office network as they provide a key component of the economic and social infrastructure throughout Ireland. The Government recognises the importance of the high value and high quality post office network to our citizens right across the country, as well as the central, central and trusted role of postmasters in our communities. My department is providing funding of 10 million per annum from within its existing capital provision over a three-year fixed term from 2023 to 2025 to Impost to support a sustainable nationwide post office network in line with the commitment in the programme for government. The funding provides time and space for Impost to accelerate the transformation and commercialisation of the network to ensure a relevant, commercially viable network delivering more services to citizens and small businesses. On post, including through the post office network, provides important services to, to its customers and is contracted to provide key government services to citizens. These include banking services, social welfare and state savings, as well as SME services and support. Decisions relating to the network, including actively seeking new business and exploring opportunities to develop new or enhanced product lines, operational matters for the board and management of the company, and not matters in which I have an immediate function. But clearly we have a, key, a keen interest and are working closely with the company to make sure that they do have viable and a diverse business into the future. Thank you, Kieran. Thank, thank uh, the Minister for his reply. Minister, I know that that Minister Jack Chambers has been engaging with the Postmasters Union. I know that from the Postmaster Union personnel, and I know that they appreciate that. One issue I think that should be addressed, Minister, is the post office. Um, they're small businesses in reality, and they, face, they have faced increased costs like every other enterprise in the country over the past number of years. Worthwhile and necessary initiatives were undertaken by government to, to assist um, small businesses and households with cost of living pressure, so I sincerely hope that the Post Office Network would be included in any such measures. Minister, I mentioned about added Irish banks and Bank of Ireland, that substantial banking facilities are available from those banks through the Post Office Network. Now, in my own region of the country, we lost the Ulster Bank, which had a huge presence over many, many decades in our area. And the withdrawal of the Ulster Bank from our state was a huge loss to many communities that I have the privilege of representing. Thankfully, permanent TSB took up some of those particular um, offices and branches, and they have a good network nowadays. I understand that at present, permanent TSB banking services are not available through the post office network. And maybe your department could engage with permanent TSB to see in towns where they don't have a presence if they could use the post office network. Because we have only AIB, Bank of Ireland, and thankfully we have permanent TSB today. And I know in my own county we welcome their presence and their increased presence resulting from the closure of Ulster banks that our communities had enjoyed for well over a century, and which was a huge loss to our communities. So, Minister, the permanent TSB might be an issue that the department could consider, and I, I, I welcome the fact that permanent TSB expanded their range of services Minister. and branch network throughout the country. Minister. First, I, I absolutely agree with you, and I think the fundamental um, <coughs> assets that are the strength that Unpost have is that it's very much a trusted company and organisation right across this country, particularly through the network, local postmasters who for generations have served their local community. And, and that trust in a, uh, is hugely beneficial. It's also an organisation which is able and very efficient at handling millions of transactions every week, so, and financial transactions and other important uh, business. 
Um, I, I think your suggestion is a good one uh, because I think where a community doesn't have a branch of a local bank, it makes absolute sense that we use the post office to the max to, to, uh, to, uh, to provide cash and other financial services. Um, I, I think my sense of the company has been through difficult times. We've had to support the network with that 10 million investment uh, in the network itself over the last three years, or over the three year period. Um, there, is, there has been a recent up to improvement, as I understand it, the performance of the financial services division. That's helped by uh, higher interest rates, probably, in terms of, like all banks, uh, at very low interest rates had presented difficulties. But also I understand the terms that they may have with AIB and Bank of Ireland have improved to recognise the important function that the post offices provide. So your suggestion, I think, is a good one. It is a matter for the company. We don't enter into immediate commercial contract or, or other uh, negotiations, but I'd happily, uh, uh, through Minister Chambers and, and my own engagement with the company, uh, see that passed on. But we're going to have to look further. Uh, I'm positive the wider organisation is, is seeing a continuing some 6% per annum reduction in mail volume, that's been a long-term ongoing trend. A counter to that, a double-digit, early double-digit increase in, po in parcel revenue, parcel mm -hmm. business. Uh, and I think um, as well as looking at financial services, we do and will and should look at other diversification mm -hmm. opportunities for Unpost and for the post office network yeah. because uh, it is in a challenging sure. situation. There's no two ways about that. Uh, a basic bid, the core business contracting, some of the other social welfare and other provisions changing as we move away in a lot of parts of society from cash-led business. So it is a challenging situation for the company, but one that we are determined to support the company and the post Thank office you, network because they provide an important social Thank role you. and economic role. Supplementary. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kyrie. Minister, just Briefly. Two, two final comments. The services from the Department of Social Protection that, that are provided through the Post Office Network, that must be maintained. Should there be changes to the TV licence system and the method of supporting public broadcasting in this country? I think what, if there are changes or if the con present system is continued, that should still be operated through the Post Office Network. And could I say, for argument's sake, if revenue were involved in the collection of, of charges to fund public service broadcasting. It could be done through the post office network as the local property tax is at present. Thank you, Akka Dr. Smith, the, well, the issue of the TV licence will have to be considered by government in the wider context of, of a, I mean, it has, uh, last year, I think there was 131 million, 884,000 raised in TV licence, it's really important that we maintain that. It's really important for the co that, uh, public service broadcasting that people do pay their licences, that we do support journalism in a time of real disinformation and fake news. It is, uh, on post our net beneficiary of 7% of the licence fee of that goes for the, uh, the, the collection, some 1.9 million a year of that going to the postmasters. Um, there has not been, our decision has not been made in terms of what that uh, future revenue uh, system will be for RT and the wider media uh, 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 organisations, but uh, uh, obviously that, the impossible will be one of the issues that we consider within that.